Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Marsha, founder of I Am Skin Beauty. If you are new, welcome. And if you're old, thank you so much for coming back and checking out your girl. It's been two months since I did my last update video on Tretinoy. So this is part five. Yes, part five on why I stopped using Tretinoy. And make sure you watch the video to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you find this video to be helpful. I really would appreciate it if you guys make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. It's free. You ain't got to pay nobody nothing. You ain't got to pay me. Just All right, guys. So let's get right into it. So guys, if you don't know, if you're new and this is your first time watching my video about Tretinoy, I have, this is part five. So this will make five videos that I have that you can watch on why I stopped using Tretinoy. Just a quick summary. Um, so I started to use it two years ago um, my dermatologist at that time recommended it so i started to use it life-changing changed the game love it um my skin loved it but like i always say if you watch all my other videos this is not the only thing that clear up my skin but this helped a lot so i noticed i started to use the 0.5 percent and then i noticed like the acne was coming back you know minor acne was coming back but baby once you clear up your skin and you have minor acne, you, you start to freak out. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go up to the 0.1%. Now the 0.1% did work. It is the highest strength that Tretinoy has. So what I noticed with the 0.1%, it was more irritation. Now this, the 0.5% can irritate you. If you watch my videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now the 0.1%, baby, it can ir irritate you even more. So I found myself getting more irritated. My skin was more irritated. My skin was more dry, although it did work. Now I decided to go back down to the 0.5%. So this is what I'm currently using. So this is the same, I don't know about tool. Yeah, the same tool um, I've been using since I told y'all that I went up, I went back down on 0.5%. So I have not gotten a new one. Like I said, pea size amount goes a long way. Like you should not go through this fast. If you're going through this fast, that means that you're using way too much. And then if you're using way too much, especially if you're dark skin like me, it's going to irritate you. You're going to have dry skin. It's going to be too much. So make sure you always, always, always use a uh, pea size amount. And of course you want to always use sunscreen okay so yeah so that's my quick summary like i said make sure you watch all the other videos this is part five so i have one through five and you guys would get a quick understanding because i don't want to go too much into it and things like that but i'm still using it uh, the skin honey is still skinny although sometimes i still have breakout i mentioned that on my last video i still get breakouts um you know, although I'm doing everything I can to make sure my skin is clear, eating a plant-based diet, um, eating a plant-based diet, guys, I am not vegan, <laughs> eating a plant-based diet, and then I'm um, keeping up with my skincare routine and, you know, things in that nature. And still, you know, it, it just happened. Breakouts happen because sometimes I want to eat french fries. Sometimes I want to eat cookies. Sometimes I want to eat whatever I want to eat at that moment. So hey guys, so on my part four, I mentioned that I've been using a cleanser that I threw away because I was supposed to review it. And now I was like, I'll use the cleanser again. So I could review it. I won't review it on this video. I'll have two different videos. Um, but this is the cleanser I've been using, the Cetaphil. And then I mentioned that I wanted to go back to using one of my old cleansers that I've been using that I really, really like, which is the Bliss Gold Rescue. So these are the two cleansers that I'll make a separate video on. It'll be a quick video. I don't want to go too much in depth on my tretinoid video. So y'all can watch it when I drop the other video. All right, guys. So I'll also mention that I wanted to try um, the vegan omega-3. So I got this brand here. Like I said, I'll do a separate video. And then I used to use this. So these are actually fish oil and this is the vegan fish oil. And I've been using it. So I have a separate video on that as well. All right, so then I also went up on my zinc. So I used to use, used to take the 22 uh, milligram. Now I'm taking the 50 
milligrams. So I'll talk more about that when I do my videos on my vitamins. And then I'm taking these new vitamins that I was recommended from Dr. Alexa. Hey girl, hey, I love your channel. And I'll talk more about that, uh, about that um, when I talk about all the vitamins. So I'm just giving you guys a little preview. So, you know, make sure that you watch and keep um, keep coming back for more videos because 2023, 20, honey, we, we coming in with clear, chocolate, glowy skin, okay? And I got y'all. All right, guys, so oils. So I talked about the ordinary 100% organic cold press rosehip oil. So I talked about this already. I have a video on rosehip oil, so you guys can check out that video. But I'm back using my rosehip oil. I'm back using this particular brand, their um, jojoba oil. I do like it better. It's 100% um, cold press and undefined and it's chemical free. So I do like my oils to be um, cold press. I find that my skin likes cold press oils a lot better and when they're natural. And like I said, tretinoin is not the only thing I use, guys. So I like tretinoin better when I use it with an oil because I had a time I couldn't get my hands on these oils. I was just using the tretinoin and I was just using my moisturizer. That did not work for me. Like my skin needed more moisturize. It was like I'm missing something. It knew that I was missing oil. So I don't feel like my skin was skinning. So I'm back to all like my old products that I was using about two years ago. So I do, like I said, I have videos on that. And also too, um, because it's winter time, um, I do find myself using less tretinoin. Like I go some, sometimes I go like half a pea size amount because like my skin gets really dry and my skin is oily. But since I've been using tretinoin, I've been noticing like my skin is getting a lot more drier than where it used to be a lot more oily. And so in the winter time, I kind of just slow down. Like I really make sure, pay attention. I make sure I use half of a pea size amount. Or sometimes I skip days. Like if I feel like my skin is getting way too dry, I skip days. And then what I started to do as well too, what I start back doing, I think I mentioned it on a couple videos. I'm not on a, another video, I'm not sure. But I got the rose water. I talked about this rose water. Give me a moment, let me grab it. I talked about this rose water already. So you guys can watch that video. I'll put all the videos that I talked about these products. You guys can just, you know, bench watch all the videos. Make sure you like all of them, okay? <laughs> so I talked about this rose water. So the first thing I do in the morning is spritz my face with this water. Cause like, like I said, it's been really, really cold here. In Cali, we do have winter seasons, which I actually like, but damn, my skin be hella dry though, like especially with the tretinoid. So I make sure I'm keeping it really, really moist. And like I said, first thing I spray my face in the morning just to make sure like um, I get my skin prepped for my skin, you know, my morning skincare product and my skin is not too dry. If I wake up in the middle of the night and my skin is dry, I would like, you know, spray my face because I find that tretinoin in the winter time and the summertime is the most challenging for me because the winter time, because it's cold out, so my face get dry. The summertime is way too hot. We get up to the hundreds. Where I'm at, we get up to like 100 degree weather, 110. So it'll be, it be. So now I find myself like trying to hide from the sun because I don't want to get irritated even though I got like sunscreen. But one of those um, vitamins that I talked about, it's supposed to help like, you know, help you, you know, it's supposed to be your sunscreen within. So I'm excited to talk about that. Shout out to Dr. Alexa one more time. I really, really like her channel. That completes my video. Part five, I still use it. I am going to keep you guys posted on the part six because I think I am going to make some changes, but I'm not going to announce it yet. Um, I want to make some changes on what I'm doing, so we'll see. And like I said, I've been watching all these dermatologists and um, they've been recommending some other things. And it's a part of my job. You know, I love what I do, especially if I can help the girls, you know, find a way to clear their skin because get it, trust me. 
Like when I was having acne, oh, it was the worst. I used to want to rip my skin off my face. Like it was the worst. Like if nobody understand you, I understand you. So I'm so grateful that God is, you know, telling me to help you guys because I did not want to get on, on camera. I did not want to talk about my skin. I was so insecure about my acne. Like I didn't even want to do YouTube. I was like, man, God, I don't want to do that. But he's like, no, you got to help somebody else. So I'm here to help. So I'm I'm grateful I can do that. And like I said, guys, it's not a hundred percent. It's um, you know, I might slip and have way too much sugar. And I might have breakouts and I'm cool with it because I know for I know what to do to get rid of the breakouts. And it's a new year and I want everybody to have pretty glowy chocolate skin. If you chocolate or whatever your skin complexion is, baby, you know, whatever it is, I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm sure you are true to you. Be good to you. You are your skin beauty. Don't let no one tell you otherwise. Peace.